tonight. So we've got a series of three. We're going to start the one we didn't get to on Monday. Uh, and uh, once again, when we're doing the chokes, it's always safety first. So when we're doing chokes, it always goes slowly when you're working on it. Uh, and if we got we got some of the upper ranking guys to go, we got our newer guys that'll work out well. Uh, now for these chokes. Well, these three, they work pretty well for a competition. They're really different, but, uh, but we'll start with the first one. So, let's see. Uh, uh, Brian, for the first one. The not here. So, <laughs> you know, not here today. <laughs> well, neither of them are here, though. So, that's, that's uh, something. So, all right, this first one, actually, Brian, lay on your back. This one, uh, it'll be real tight. Okay. Yeah, so, this time, for this practice, uh, there's basically two positions where we do our chokes from, so either he's laying on his back or as Brian was, he's sitting up with his legs in front of him. So this time we're going to do it while he's laying down. Uh, so this one's Ryotsi Jime. So this, this choke happens to work against, yeah, it's fun. Uh, this one's on, you're attacking the carotid arteries, which uh, you'll find right at the point of the jaw, behind, you know, down the back by your ear, on the other side of your head. Uh, you're going to be attacking them using your knuckles and the gi to uh, perform the choke. Okay. So this one's not the windpipe at all. This is one of the few where it's not a combination of both of them. So and it's a little tricky because you got to find it. It's a very, it's a real specific type of choke. So for this one, what you're going to do is, as always, tell people you get the slack out of their gi, but your partner's necks relax, so you got them open up like this. You're going to turn your knuckles in, and you're going to be using the gi to push up, pushing the gi up under the jawbone here, okay? So, and Ryan's ready right here to tap. That's a good idea for you guys. You're not flailing around. Uh, so, push it in, and then you're going to push, kind of lift, push it in, and there, okay? So, what I'm doing here is I'm taking the slack out, and then pushing back up and in here, okay? Now what I'm not doing is pushing straight down, okay? I'm kind of turning, you can see I'm turning his jaw up like this, and that just opens up even more, okay? But another, like I said, Monday, if you're doing chokes, don't do more than like two in a row on, this, on the person, and the, because after a while, you start getting headaches, it's not good. So maybe do it a couple times, and then switch other person. Take a chance to catch your breath, you know. Uh, but for Ryote Jime, this time, when your partner is down there, you start with a grip like this. I like to put out my knuckle like this or else I can't grab. I don't get the kind of flexibility to be able to get in. But you're gonna, here, so you're gonna grab and you're gonna turn your wrists this way, okay? Up and in, and it's, so pulling up and then pushing up and in Right here, okay, and you're trapped in the carotid between the, your knuckle, the gi, and the jaw here. Uh, any questions on, on this one? Uh, okay, so let's uh, let's give it our partners. It's uh, doesn't matter size. Oh. And, uh,